The FAB 3000 is a Soviet-designed, general-purpose high-explosive aerial bomb, notable for its significant destructive capabilities. Weighing approximately 3,000 kilograms, the bomb measures around 4.2 meters in length and 0.64 meters in diameter. It is typically filled with tritonal, a mixture of TNT and aluminum powder, which enhances its explosive power. Various types of fuses, including impact and time-delayed fuses, can be used depending on the mission requirements. The explosive charge of the FAB 3000 bomb is approximately 1,400 kilograms of high explosive material. A recently released video from the Russian Ministry of Defense, dated July 14, 2024, reveals that the Russian Air Force is now deploying the formidable FAB 3000 aerial bomb. Enhanced with UMPK, Unified Module of Planning and Correction modules, this weapon has been transformed into a highly precise and immensely powerful explosive device. The recent video published by the Russian Ministry of Defense shows a Su-34 bomber aircraft launching a FAB-3000 fitted with the UMPK module a Russian copy of the American-made JDAM ur module, a guidance kit that converts unguided bombs into precision-guided munitions. The JDAM ur extends the range of the bomb significantly by adding a wing kit, allowing the bomb to glide to its target from a greater distance. The UMPK modules include a guidance section based on a combination of inertial navigation, less precise but works under any conditions, and satellite navigation, more precise but susceptible to jamming. Additionally, the conversion kit contains foldable wings and a tail section with control surfaces, allowing for a controlled gliding flight. As a result, a cheap weapon with over 100 times the explosive power of an artillery shell TNT load is up to 18 to 22 pounds, capable of destroying even the most powerful fortifications is created. With the FAB 3000 bomb weighing 3 tons, half of which is TNT, even missing by a few dozen or 328 feet doesn't make much difference. The shockwave causes destruction even hundreds of feet from the explosion site, and the range of the fragments can exceed 0.6 miles. The range of these bombs depends on the dropping speed and altitude. The higher and faster, the better. This allows the Russians to drop bombs 37 to 43 miles away from the target, which is far beyond the range of Ukrainian short-range air defense systems, a maximum of approximately 25 miles. The FAB 3000 has a large blast radius, capable of causing extensive damage to buildings, fortifications, and infrastructure. The exact radius depends on factors such as the altitude of detonation and the environment, This bomb can penetrate reinforced concrete and other fortified structures before detonating, making it effective against bunkers and underground facilities. Upon detonation, the bomb casing shatters, sending high-velocity fragments over a wide area, increasing its lethality against personnel and light vehicles. The explosion also generates a powerful shockwave that can cause structural collapse and significant damage to nearby objects and individuals.
The FAB 3000 bomb is designed to be carried under the wings or fuselage of smaller aircraft, as well as in the bomb bays of larger bombers. Despite its size, which might classify it as a high-capacity bomb, its design and construction align with that of a large general-purpose bomb. Russian sources have revealed the FAB 3000 bomb is now in mass production. This transformation gives the FAB 3000 the capacity to function as a low-flying, long-range bomb, not only complicating Ukrainian air defense but also amplifying the scale of resulting explosions and destruction. While Ukrainian analysts question Russia's decision to restart the production of the FAB 3000, a bomb dating back to 1946, they acknowledge that this bomb holds a unique distinction. Unlike the FAB 500 and the FAB 1500, the sheer size of the FAB 3000 restricts its launch to the 222M3 strategic bombers. Further complicating matters, a single 222M3 can only accommodate two of these bombs in one flight. Stretching over 3 meters in length and topping the scales at 3 tons, the bomb carries a formidable explosive charge of 1.4 tons. This enormous weapon uses a triple fuse system for enhanced reliability. Is it explosive power? A staggering 1,400 kilograms of TNT equivalent. Just imagine. An explosion that parallels the power of detonating 1,400 kilograms of trinitrotoluene. 